Yeah. Yeah. So they listed in one round of names and the teams that hit with Jimmy oh, the, the, the world. Phantom Punch. 1972, smoking Joe Frazier. Knocked out Ron Sanders by Ron Sanders. He was one tough guy boxing a couple of times. He could punch that cat. And remember what Sanders' wife said about putting him in that fight? She said putting Ron Sanders against Joe Frazier for the heavyweight championship of the world was like putting a Volkswagen in the Indy 500. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Listen, 1974, Rodrigo Valdez, remember him? Mm -hmm. Knocked out Benny Briscoe, tough Benny Briscoe, in seven Now there's some Columbia. She, she just knows the Puerto Rican. Mike oh, no. No, no, no. See the backhand? I got that. Oh, oh. Okay. Ow! Okay. 1999, you know what happened? Uh -huh. Mike Tyson, 32, is released from the Montgomery County, Maryland, Detention Center after serving three and a half months to one year sentence. I don't remember that he went in. Two motorists. For assaulting two more Yeah, I remember that. Um, I don't even remember that. 1863, Bob Fitzsimmons was born. Robert James Fitzsimmons. Mm -hmm. 1897, guess who was born? James, I mean, excuse me, Gene Tunney. Joseph, James Joseph Tunney. Mm -hmm. 1969, Dick Tiger wins in 10 over Nino Benvenuti in a non title fight. Um, John Conti was born in 1961. Edward Charles dies in 1975. He's 53 years old. Marvelous Marvin Hagler. In 1983, I was there. Uh, knocked out Wilfred Cipriano in four rounds in Providence. As a yeah, I was at that count. fight too. I realized that night that we were looking at a great. Because yeah, I thought a lot of Cipriano went. Hagler yeah. took him apart. Here's Woo. one that you have, I think you have won the same year. Uh, 1922, Lou Dubu was born. That was a couple years before my. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 1917, Benny Leonard knocked out Freddie Walsh in nine rounds, wins a lightweight title. Um, let me see. Uh, Benny Leonard might have been one of the, may have been the greatest lightweight champion of all time. In my mind, it was Roberto Durando. Okay, well, in 1935, Barney Ross wins in 15 over Jim McLaren. Um, uh, regaining the World Series Championship. Uh, Harry Grab gets a no decision in six over Frank Kirkwood in 1913. Tony Zale was born in 1913. Donnie Lalande knocked out Leslie Stewart. I was there in Trinidad. You know, I think you and I might have been the announcers for that. No, I think we were announcers for a Davis, an Eddie Davis fight. What are you pointing at? Leslie Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to take that back. Okay, 1993, Billy Kahn dies at 75 years old. Uh, great guy. Yeah, I met him one time. 1951, uh, Eddie Charles wins in 15 over Joey Maxim. Cornelius Boulder Edwards knocks out Bobby Chacon in 14 rounds in 1981 to change the super featherweight title. Henry Armstrong wins in 15 over Barney Ross. Wins the World Warfare Championship. Jack Dempsey dies at 87 years old in 1983. Mike Tyson knocked out Pinkman Thomas in 1987. And Tony Tucker gets a 10 round knockout over James Buster Douglas. And that's what happened this week. This week, week this day in yeah. boxing. Well, you scan the internet for this. all of that. I wow. Love the stuff. Randy G, the commercial, along with gentleman Jerry Cooney. We got Wayne Barrett, undefeated Muay Thai fighter. His trainer, Rob Rogan, with us, and the Grand Marshal of the International Boxing Hall of Fame weekend coming up next week. Jerry and, and I are going to be there. And Rosie and Perez! I made this show extra special. Absolutely. Oh. Oh. I just want to say hi to Rosie. Hi, Rosie. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hi, Rosie. Sitting across the table. Hi, Rosie. Wayne <laughs> Barrett keeps trying to move his chair over the room. Stay right there. <laughs> so you guys want to talk about the venue? And, and the fight and uh, hey, that is a great place where you guys are fighting on the twenty yes. second. I know Jerry and I are going to try to be there. We'll try to talk Rosie into being there to watch. We'll, we'll sit in a little group over and there, and watch you guys fight. Get, get Rosie to come out. And I'll get you guys. How much do you scream a lot? <laughs> like, do you go crazy when you know somebody? Like when you, when you see Wayne fight, if you're there that night, Dude. are you going to be going crazy? Like with that, with that. Ah! But I, I would, I, you get emotional, like when I went to go see uh, Mike Tyson fight, you know, you get so emotional when you know someone. Um, it, it feels different watching someone get hit that you know, um, you know, up close and personal. It's, it's really crazy. Well, um, it feels a little harder for that person that gets hit, too. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, but I, you know, when you say I, I'm at home and I'm thinking about the fight, uh, that's when the house is in pure mayhem. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's like, oh, oh, and pushing each other and getting up off the couch. They don't say that. So that's well, when the real screaming happens. Well, definitely come out June 22nd, Hammerstein Ballroom. I want all you guys to come out. It's been an amazing show. Um, I'll definitely put on the show, especially if Rosie comes out.
Uh-huh. Right. And um, man, you know, also come out and check me out. Come work out, man. You know, jo Rosie's in great shape, guys. <laughs> great, great, great. No, Jesus, I, I want to invite it down. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm at the UFC gym, so if you want to come out there and. Uh, Wayne, who is your favorite fighter? I'm you know what? You, you asked me that question earlier, and you know, as a new age fighter, you know, I'm gonna, I, I say, you know, Floyd right off the bat because I love his movement, I love his brains, I love his smarts. But you know, I like, I like old school guys, man. Sugar Ray Robinson. I love Pee Wee. Oh, what about Pee Wee? What about Sweet Pea? Pernell Whitaker. Another class. Yeah. Rosie, who's you know, your favorite? Give me one like, fighter. Who's your favorite? Oh, gosh. I know it sounds obvious, but I would have to go with Ali. And then, you know, second to that, I would go with Sugar Ray and uh, Floyd. I love Connected. Floyd a lot. No country then? Um, uh, Miguel Cotto, Jose Torres, oh uh, Fredo Tito? Benitez Jr., Tito. 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 Rosie Tito. Perez, we want to thank you. Oh she, she is the Grand Marshal next week up in Tanisoto, New York, for the International Boxing Hall of Fame. We want to thank Rosie for joining us in studio. Yeah, Rosie here in studio. Let's hear it. Hi, Rosie. Wayne Barrett, undefeated <laughs> Muay Thai. We're getting him into boxing. His trainer, Rob Rogan. For my guys, I ain't talking trash ash and marvelous Matt Meyer. For my man, gentleman Jerry Cooney, and our co-host of the night, Rosie Perez. I'm Randy G. It's eight, nine, and ten. We're out of here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Oh, that was great. That's an awesome show. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Uh, this could be I'm a... I'm always... Yeah. 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 Yeah.